So John, in vSAN, our customers have the choice of a setting a level of failure to tolerate of anywhere between zero and three. What would an FTT of zero be used for? So this is basically kind of a RAID zero setting. Um, Although it's not, I guess, traditionally RAID zero involves striping everywhere and was sometimes done for performance. Uh, We keep the stripe setting different. Um, So a failure within a host might, you might get lucky and might not impact a VM, but you know, it's still a setting. Um, This is something that people toyed around with for a while for using for VDI, but frankly, we've moved away from just because instant clones are so thin on their own and so tiny that the net additive cost of each desktop is is really nothing. Um, So I would say that's, that was a use case when people were doing some kind of ephemeral full clones, but we've, we've really moved on in life from that. This was also something sometimes people would look at for trying to do some of the shared nothing architecture stuff, but I would really argue instead using vSAN direct um, and the data persistence platform is really where that's going to be. So types of workloads where the application is doing the resiliency, that's going to be those object storage solutions and things like that. Really, you should go use the, the data persistence platform. You could use it for some capacity heavy ephemeral workloads. Just be aware that if if a device fails that takes out that component or that object um, in that case, um, you're going to end up with an orphaned virtual machine uh, disk or potentially if it's the home directory, an orphaned virtual machine. And so that can sometimes involve some metadata cleanup. Um, And specifically back when we would use Composer for link clones, it's often meant purging things out of a database. So this is why this is, this is not a wildly used setting. It's still around in case you can find a use case for it. But I really like to think that instant clones and the data persistence platform and vSAN Direct have kind of taken over most of the use case for this feature. Yeah, no, I think that's great advice. And you know, let's face it, enterprise class storage that was never what it was made for was to to make the data non redundant. Uh, so it's not, not not exactly in in the wheelhouse of most storage systems. And and I would think that vSAN sort of falls in that same uh, in the same category as well. I mean, it, it could be used with a stretch cluster. So you could just have something that's only mirrored between the sites, but that would be, most people are still going to want to raid one or raid five yeah. once it gets over. 